So Darius, Renisha, Kenya. Hey everybody. What's that that stripper song I like? In this captivating episode, we will be delving into the chilling and tragic case of a young woman named Jackisha Bayard whose potential was boundless, yet tragically cut short by someone who she loved. Shooter who killed a woman in Miami. Accused of killing a 21-year-old woman in Miami. Jackisha's story is one of dreams, aspirations, and the profound impact she left on those who had the privilege of knowing her. Hello and welcome to Twisted Crimes. Subscribe and hit the like button for more stories. Now a break in the case and the murder of a 21-year-old woman in Miami. The suspect, police say, is the woman's boyfriend. He is now under arrest. At the tender age of 21, Jackisha was full of determination and ambition. Her dreams of becoming a skilled beautician were more than just dreams, they were a driving force that led her to secure a job at a local Staples store. This step toward her career showed her commitment to self-improvement and her willingness to take the initiative. But Jackisha's journey wasn't all about fashion. Her time at Miami Beach Senior High School was marked by her diligent pursuit of education. With a thirst for knowledge and a hunger for personal growth, she was the perfect example of a dedicated student. Yet, beyond the classroom and her career aspirations, Jackisha was a friend who left an unforgettable mark on her friends. Her close childhood friend, Moses Kilpatrick, recalls the infectious joy she brought to every interaction. Her laughter was a testament to her life, and her mere presence could turn any ordinary moment into an unforgettable memory. In her family, Jackisha meant a lot. Her cousin, Tamika Bayard, remembers her always smiling, spreading happiness everywhere. Her aunt, Latoya Bayard, says she was like a strong support for their family, always there when they needed help. And Jacqueline Bayard, her mom, loved their special bond, more than just mother and daughter. They had a friendship filled with love and understanding. She was adored by everyone in her family, her friends remember her as the life of the party, always full of energy, but always there when they needed someone to talk to. Jackisha's life serves as a reminder of the potential that can be extinguished by senseless violence. Her absence is felt deeply by everyone who had the privilege of crossing paths with her. As we proceed, we will talk about the events leading up to Jackisha's tragic passing, and we will shed light on the circumstances that robbed the world of such an amazing person. But first, let's talk about the relationship between Jackisha Bayard and Gregory Brown Jr. It's a story that started with promise but eventually took a tragic turn. In the beginning, their relationship seemed like any other young love story. Jackisha and Gregory, both attending the same elementary and middle schools, shared a connection that blossomed into romance. They appeared happy, enjoying each other's company and creating cherished memories together. As time passed, their bond grew stronger, and they became inseparable. Their social media posts were filled with pictures of shared adventures, smiles, and laughter. Friends and family saw them as a couple with a promising future, and their love seemed unbreakable. But relationships can be complicated, and sometimes problems come up that make things difficult. Bit by bit, they started having more arguments, and the happy times they used to have became less frequent. Their friends noticed things were changing, the constant laughter wasn't there as much, and even on social media, where they used to share happy pictures, there were times when things seemed tense. Jackisha and Gregory tried hard to fix things when their relationship got tough. They wanted to solve their problems and stay close. But as time passed, they realized that things weren't as nice as they used to be. The happy smiles they had before didn't look real anymore, and the love they felt for each other wasn't as strong. Eventually, they chose to end their relationship. It was a hard decision, but they thought it was the best thing to do. This choice probably brought up many feelings, being sad, feeling a bit better, 
and not being sure about what comes next. Sadly, the breakup was a big change that led to a really terrible ending. We don't know all the exact details about what happened on that very sad day, but it shows us that even relationships that begin with love and good feelings can sometimes turn out to be incredibly disturbing. On this fateful day, Gregory Brown Jr., who had been a part of Jackish's life, came to her home. The day began like usual, but then something terrible happened. Jackisha went outside, maybe feeling a mix of different emotions because of their breakup. Little did she know that something really awful was about to occur. All of a sudden, everything changed. Gregory, who was 22 years old at that time, pulled out a gun. This was the same person who used to share happy moments and love with Jackisha. But now, he became a serious threat. In just a matter of seconds, he started shooting, and Jackisha was hit multiple times in her chest and body. The sheer brutality of the act is difficult to comprehend. As the shots rang out, Jackisha's life hung in the balance. She managed to run a short distance before collapsing, her strength waning. The pain and fear she must have experienced in those moments are unimaginable. Emergency services rushed to the scene, their efforts to save her life a race against time. Jackisha was taken to the hospital in extremely critical condition, fighting for her life. Despite the best efforts of medical professionals, her injuries were too severe, and she tragically passed away, leaving a void that could never be filled. Gregory Brown Jr., the very person who had once been a part of her life, fled the scene, disappearing into the chaos he had left behind. Now a break in the case and the murder of a 21-year-old woman in Miami. The suspect, police say, is the woman's boyfriend. He is now under arrest. Local 10 News reporter Derek Shore live with the latest details. Derek. Well, a huge sigh of relief for the community. No doubt the family of that victim learning that the suspected shooter has turned himself in. Take a look. All these many hours later, still Miami police here on the scene where the shooting took place, where that 21 year old was shot and eventually pronounced dead. I heard one shot and then four shots behind it. Pow, 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 pow. Neighbors woken up by gunshots, stunned after a young woman just 21 years old is gunned down in front of her home, allegedly by her own boyfriend, just blocks from Miami's design district in Midtown. I knew it since we were kids. We grew up with each other. That's my husband's sister, so. It's just a tragedy. Family absolutely distraught, telling us the victim was a sweet girl. She's been identified as Jakesha Bayard. Police say the couple got into an argument outside the house on Northwest 38th Street around 7.30 Friday morning. That 21-year-old Bayard was shot multiple times, including in the chest. Fire Rescue tells us they performed CPR the entire way, but she would be pronounced dead at the hospital. And the offender did flee in the vehicle um, before units arrived. But shortly after, police say 24-year-old Gregory Brown Jr., seen here in a previous mugshot, would turn himself in in Miami Gardens. Detectives are currently interviewing um, Mr. Brown to see exactly why um, and, and his motive as far as why did he pull the trigger. If she didn't wake up this morning thinking she was going to die, you know, no, nobody does that and she's 21. So the big question here is why? Why did he allegedly open fire on who was said to be his girlfriend? Those are questions detectives are now asking that suspect, and then he will be booked into jail, likely on a charge of murder. The details of that day, the emotions that led to such a horrific act, are difficult to understand. It's a chilling reminder of how anger and violence can shatter people's lives in an instant, leaving families and communities grappling with the aftermath. After the horrifying incident, Gregory Brown Jr. did not remain at large for long. He fled the scene, disappearing into the city, but authorities were determined to bring him to justice. As the investigation intensified, law enforcement agencies worked tirelessly to piece together the events that led to the tragic shooting. Clues were gathered, witnesses were interviewed, and the process of evidence collection and analysis began. But in a shocking turn of events, that was all unnecessary, as he turned himself in. Gregory's decision to turn himself in marked a significant development in the case. It was a turning point and showed a glimmer of accountability. Recognizing the gravity of his actions, he surrendered to the authorities in Miami Gardens. Accused of killing a 21-year-old woman in Miami, he faced a judge this morning. Police believe this guy right here, 22-year-old Gregory Brown, shot and killed his girlfriend, Jakesha Bayard, just yesterday. He surrendered to authorities that same day. 
What we're told is Brown was issued no bond. He's charged with first degree murder right now. Police are saying that the two, they got into an argument outside of Bayard's home. Brown allegedly drove away after the shooting and Bayard ran back to her house where she collapsed. She was taken to the hospital where she later died. Her family is holding a vigil for her tonight at 7 at 39th Street and Northwest 1st Avenue. The legal process would now take its course with the wheels of justice set in motion. Following his arrest, Gregory found himself facing a grave legal situation. He was charged with first-degree murder, a charge that carries serious implications. This charge reflects the severity of the alleged crime and the need for justice to be served. The legal proceedings unfolded in a deliberate manner, as is customary in such cases. Gregory, now a defendant, was afforded the opportunity to present his case and respond to the charges brought against him. During this time, the question of bail arose. However, in Gregory's case, it was determined that no bond would be offered. This means that he remained in custody, awaiting trial without the option of release pending the legal proceedings. The decision to deny bail is not taken lightly and is based on a variety of factors, including the severity of the charges, the potential flight risk, and the safety of the community. In Gregory's case, the court deemed it necessary to ensure that he would remain confined until his trial. The trial for Gregory Brown Jr. has faced delays, but there's a strong belief that justice will eventually be served. While the legal process has taken some time, the evidence and circumstances surrounding the tragic event are compelling, they all point towards a clear understanding of what transpired. As the trial goes on, the proof seems to show that Gregory is responsible for what happened to Jackisha Bayard. People hope that he will be held accountable for what he did and that justice will be served. We hope Jackish continues to rest in peace. We hope Jackisha Bayard gets the justice she deserves. Our sincere condolences to the friends and families of Jackisha Bayard. May Jackisha's memory be a blessing for her family and for all who knew her and may her life and death be an inspiration and a turning point towards justice and increased protection for domestic abuse survivors. Please stay safe out there and see you guys in the next video.